People are getting so frustrated with construction in one Lansing neighborhood that they're taking it upon themselves to move barriers blocking off roads. And now they're upset police are showing up to write tickets. Fox 47's Christiana Ford checked it out for us and brings us this report. As you can see, there is a police officer on the side of the road on a motorcycle. Residents in the area say they're giving out tickets for a traffic issue they can't avoid. It's a big old mess. Jimmy Robbins is talking about this mile stretch of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard that he so happens to live right off of. Everybody in the neighborhood is trying to figure out how they're supposed to get out of there and get out of here. Side streets on Martin Luther King Boulevard are blocked off and Lansing police have been ticketing drivers for going around the barriers. Today when we got up, the cops were out here giving people tickets and stuff. I went personally to the police officer and said, how are we supposed to get out of here without breaking the law? He said, you're supposed to take the side street. Well, all the side streets are blocked. Robin said he was told by the city that residents could use the closed section of MLK Junior Boulevard to get to and from their homes. But now he says the police presence has confused him. What we need to know is what we're actually supposed to be doing. His neighbor Deb Barkley across the street agrees. The only way for me to get back into the neighborhood if I'm coming from this direction is to go all the way around back to Pleasant Grove. A necessary nightmare, says the city. It's doing sewer work on MLK between Moores River Drive and Victor Avenue. Public Service Director Andy Kilpatrick says they sent a brochure in the mail explaining to residents what to do. Residents that are south of Mount Hope, they are supposed to be coming in off of Rundle and then exiting, making a right turn onto Mount Hope. Now that the project has gone on for a week, Kilpatrick says they are looking to make changes, hopefully open up a few side streets and communicate with residents to clear up any confusion. Christiana Ford, Fox 47. Lansing police tell us they wrote 13 tickets today for illegal turns in the area. None of those were to people who actually live there. That project is scheduled to last until October 2nd.